हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर आर बी कुशवाहा एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन द डिवीजन ऑफ वेटनरी क्लिनिकल कॉम्प्लेक्स एट एफ वी एस सी एन एच स्कॉश जम्मू आर एस पुरा वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू चैनल सो कैंडली सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड हेट द बेल आइकॉन फॉर फॉर द नोटिफिकेशन टूडे वी हैव केस ऑफ ऑफस्टिक यूरोथियसिस इन थ्री ईयर्स एंड सेवन मंथस ओल्ड बोफाइलो बुल सो यू कुड सी the animal is dull and depressed and if you see the ventral penile area and the even from the caudal side so there is no swelling in the perineal region no swelling in the scrotal region and even the there is no swelling in the ventral abdominal area so this is a clear cut indication of the intact urethra and as per the history since the retention of the urine is from the last 3 days although the owner visited some local veterinarian and local veterinarian administered lasix that is frosemide so in some time whenever the frosemide is injected so the bladder rupture even before the 3 days so next we go for the parietal examination to see the status of the urinary bladder so we have given the sacrococcygeal epidural analgesia So in case of the intact urinary bladder, when there is retention of urine from the last three days, so definitely the bladder will be enough distended. But in this case. on the correct way jam is the bladder is collapse and occupy in the pelvic region and the rumen is very duffy so upon the correct way jam is a confirmed case of the urinary bladder rupture now we further for by the paracentesis abdominis with the help of the 16 volt needle perform the paracentesis abdominis the diagnosis of urinary bladder rupture one is the by parietal examination and second one is by doing the paracentesis abdominis so we just take a 16 gauge needle and just prick in the this para median region so now you could see there is a clear cut flow of the urine this indicate that bladder has ruptured we have prepared the this left para lumbar fossa see this is the caudal margin of the left para lumbar fossa this one is the cranial that is the last rib and this is the transverse process of the lumbar vertebrae so whenever, so whenever we approach for the urinary bladder always give the incision at the caudal margin of the this left para lumbar fossa because our aim is to insert the hand towards the pelvic cavity so this is very very important so we give an of long incision i have already inflated a 2% lignocaine hydrochloride solution so this is the difference in the thickness of the skin of the buffalo somebody spray lignocaine hydrochloride solution here so in only bladder rupture occur in obstructive urolithiasis in 72 to 96 hours that too without giving the frosemide or lasix so in this case lasix has been given by the local veterinarian so that could be the reason that uh, even within the 3 days the urinary bladder has ruptured so although we have given the local anesthetic up to this so effect was very good up to this level but here the animal feel mild pain during the making and incision now you could see a little bit movement of the skin so this much is the length of the incision so now we separate to this muscles here so we give the nick in the muscle and then the rest of the incision will extend by the seizure
So here the muscle thickness is much more as compared to the mid paralumbar fossa. So now you could see, so we have inside the respiratory. So upon incision in the rumen, you could see this is the rumen and the fluid is coming, you can see here. So this is the urine. So we will remove the urine first. Now you could see so with the help of the this is trial tube. So this is simple tube, but we have applied the betadine over the surface and inside. So this is the how you can remove the maximum urine. This is the device by which you can remove the this is the simply siphoning of the urine by the using the conventional tube. So only difference that we have uh, applied the this tube. Now you could see urine is coming. So in large animal, in this animal definitely the urine will be more than the hundred liter. So yes, urinary bladder is in the pelvic cavity and uh, rupture is towards the neck and the, at the ventral surface. So one finger is going, so it is on the ventral surface. Since the bladder ruptured at the ventral surface, so even after cystography, sometimes there is a leakage because it is on the dependent side, ventral side is always dependent side and moreover whenever we perform the electrotomy, even the indwelling catheterization, so catheter never reach up to the urinary bladder because of the presence of the dorsal urethral diverticulum at the ischial arch. So this is the reason why I am saving this area that is the paraenal area or the ischial fossa. So from this side I will insert the polish catheter. So that means I am going to perform the tube cystotomy through the para anal approach. So I will give the hair the local anesthetic and then insert the foliage catheter from here. So it means we perform the tube cystotomy, repair the urinary bladder, means cystography, and then in the last we perform the urethrotomy to remove the large calculi. Since this is the adult animal, so there is a less chance that the calculi will release or you can say remove by the or dislodge by the only tube cystotomy. So this one is the left side of the steroidal fossa. So we insert the from here. So this is the close to the this ischial bone. So we make incision here. I have already given the local anesthesia here. This is simple nick here. and give the artery force a long one so we try to pierce this one one kindly insert your hand in the pelvic cavity and just feel the tip of this one
is tending towards your finger. Filora? Yes. Filora? Yes. Open your baby. Out. Okay. Just wait. Let. So this artery for safe has entered in the pelvic cavity. by this one inserting like this and other one is we insert the artery force from the pelvic cavity and then catch hold from here so since i have made the aperture here so i feel this one is easier for me this one take out that is partly for six so now what we do we insert the this tip of the follies catheter in the bladder from this side in the first attempt, what we do, we pass the catheter from the steroidal fossa into the pelvic cavity. And then, now the second step, we insert the tip of the, this follies catheter into the nudie bladder. So, this is the two step procedure. So, this is the 2.5 mm uh, K wire. So, we will use this one as the stellate. So, this follies catheter which we have inserted in the pelvic cavity. So now by inserting the both hands, so I will pass the this tip of the orthopedic wire in the eye of the Foley's catheter and then with the stretched Foley's catheter, I will insert the Foley's catheter at the, from the lateral surface of the urinary bladder, lateral or dorsal surface of the urinary bladder. So in the large animal urinary obstruction most of the surgery we have to perform blindly so through the this steroidal fossa we have inserted this follies catheter and in second step we have inserted the tip of the follies catheter from the lateral aspect of the urinary bladder so now the next step to repair the this range in the this urinary bladder through the this area <laughs> This needle size is smaller, but still I will try to hold like this and then take the bite in the in the bladder just to repair the rent in the nothing is visible from the outside. You have to perform the cystography by inserting the both hand. So this is the reason why we say that the surgeon fingertip is also at size the eye taking the one bite now <clears throat> so now you could see so the first knot has been placed at the ventral surface of the bladder so now the remaining will <coughs> so now you could see i have repaired the bladder now you could see the how beautifully urine is coming through the exit of the follies catheter 
So this is a clear cut indication that uh, the rupture at the ventral surface has been repaired successfully blindly. Blindly means by inserting the both hand in the retinal cavity. We have performed the tube cystotomy through the ischiorectal fossa and we repaired the rupture site in the bladder that is ventral surface of the urinary bladder. So now we are going to close the, this lepotomy incision. So here I am repairing the petonium first. Petonium plus the muscles. Sinuri bladder rupture in the large animal. Such cases is very difficult to manage. The only good thing with the ruminant that they have the urea cycle process means they recycle the urea very well so that this is the reason why they sustain the uremic condition and yeah, they are more resistant to the uremic condition as compared to the monogastric energy. Third, this is the third layer. So 
here already bite has been taken in the previous layer So we have repaired the muscle in three layer. Uh, so we have repaired this lepotomy incision. So now you could see this is the skin suture. We have applied the cross mattress and one here in the last one in the simple interpreter. So this is all about the cystography and tube cystotomy.